We got another review here for a fluid extractor from Holt Industries bought at Harbor Freight. It cost about $90. I might have bought it with a coupon, I can't remember. I think the coupon actually wasn't applicable. I've had this thing for over a year, I've used it several times. So here's some footage and a review. Let's do this. Boop, boop, ba, da, boop, ba. Okay, so here it is in the box. 2.3 gallon manual fu fluid, <laughs> fluid extractor. This thing sucks to, to get your oil out. Nice, look at that. On the on the box there, you got a picture of a motorhome, a boat, and a Chevy, like, Tahoe? Suburban? Meh. I actually use this thing on my motorhome. You'll see footage of that shortly. So I ended up buying some more tubing from Lowe's. It's quarter-inch tubing because the tubing that comes with this thing is, uh, the length isn't long enough for me to do the oil change on my RV. Uh, this was like five bucks at Lowe's. Okay, let's do an unbox. So you open it up, you got some stuff there, some tubes. I don't know if you can see me, I'm wearing camouflage, but I am there. Okay, I read the instructions, I'm like, hey, instructions. Here's all the tips. You can see this one right here with the red end is for bleeding brakes, like doing that on your own. You'll see more as I go along. And then it's also got this like metal thing that goes in to unclog the line. I, I guess I haven't used that yet, I haven't needed to. Let's pull out the beast. There it is. Well, I guess uh, the packaging is well packed. Like if this thing were in a flood, it wouldn't probably get wet, even though that probably wouldn't hurt it. So you can see about, about the size of it. I'm six feet tall and this thing's, I guess, kind of short. It comes with this little thing that attaches on the side. It holds the tubes. It does not do a good job. Like there's, I really don't understand why that's there. Uh, like it's a gesture more so to me. Uh, and you can see I plug in the tip of the first tube there and then I start putting them all together. So you got your initial like fatter tubing that hooks up and then you've got, you, you can downsize from there. It's kind of a pain in the butt to figure out. So you can take off the part where the tubing hooks up and you'll see right here there's like the pour spout and then it works pretty good. Like when you want to pour the uh, contents that you extracted out. Here's a closer look at the piece that fits in there. It's got a couple O-rings and then that. You can see the hole right there. You can actually fit that uh, larger tubing over that. So you don't need the rubber piece in there. So here I got it initially plugged in. It's just wrong. So yeah, there you go. And you can see that here where I've got the tube just straight plugged into that adapter thing. Give it a little quick test. It's working out all right. So yeah, you can put your foot on the bottom and then kind of like pump it with your hands like a bike pump. There's a closer look at the uh, brake bleeding portion of the kit. I have not used that yet, haven't needed to. Here's another look at that metal piece that you can stick down the tube to like free up blockages. Yeah, you can see me putting the tubes like inside that little tube holder. It's, yeah, they kind of hang out too much. So it's, it doesn't work for me. I've just got them in like a drawer in my toolbox. Hey, you can see the underside, some screws and stuff. Oh, look at that. You know, and I didn't notice this until just now, looking at the bottom, there's that foot piece that's ex like you can pull on that. And I have never done that, I don't think. Maybe I have, I don't know. Here's a closer look at the pump end. And here I am in my motorhome, uh, taking the hood off to check out this sweet diesel motor. And then I find out, oh, the dipstick is not accessible from the inside. It's from the rear, duh. So I set up the extractor outside and I shove the uh, tube in and just start extracting. The motor is a, a little warm. I don't think it's like full operating temperature, but I started the extraction and it took a very long time for me to get all of the uh, oil out. I think it's like four gallons or something. So I had to empty this a couple times. Uh, so I pumped it like a whole lot and it ended up creating a vacuum. And so you can like pump, 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 and then just let it sit there and it'll extract like a gallon over the course of for this, it was like 30 minutes, but I was using, it was really thin oil. This works better for my other cars. You'll see that in a minute. But yeah, it worked out for the RV, changed the oil, that was nice. And here I am doing an oil change on my van. It's a Chrysler Voyager. The oil uh, came out very easily compared to the diesel motor that in, in my motorhome, go figure. Yeah, I was able to pull a whole lot of oil out and then just change out the filter and put oil in. Kind of like that. 
I also ended up emptying out the transmission fluid as well and replacing it. Ooh, nice. Me pouring the contents in to an uh, oil jug. So here I am extracting the transmission fluid in my van as well. I think it's just at ATF, maybe four? ATF four? Mm. It's good to change the transmission fluid in your car because of, let me find the word. So there's, I'm gonna link down below a forum thread that is just amazing. If you're interested in automatic transmissions and like uh, the fluids and how they work, this is an awesome read. And then I'll just highlight it with one of the best comments from it, if not the best comment from the thread. Tom Johnson says, you can call me Mr. Transcend if you like, after the name of that oil that they use for the, uh, or sorry, the fluid they use for the Allison transmissions. Yeah, quote, uh, ask them if they understand the polymethacitrylate viscosity index improvers and how polymer shear down can produce permanent viscosity loss. That should give them a real problem with their answers to you. <laughs> like, what is that? I think that's English. I don't know. This guy's good though. If you read through the whole thing, it's like 70 pages now. If you read through it, you'll learn a thing or two about transmissions is really cool. Uh, but yeah, I went to both of my cars and just tra changed the transmission fluid on them. Pros and cons of the thing. Pro, you don't have to take off your drain plug if you're doing an oil change. Pro, it's pretty easy to use because you just pump and then the stuff, the oil comes out. Pro, it can hold 2.3 gallons of fluid. Uh, most most of the engines that I work on or have in the past, they don't have that kind of capacity for oil, so it can usually work in one shot. And then with my motorhome, for instance, with the uh, Cummins ISB 300, I just had to empty it out once in the middle. Pro, it's got a solid construction. It is pretty well built. Like, it doesn't feel flimsy or like it's going to break. It feels like you could drop it and it would probably still stay together which is, is good. It, it doesn't feel like your normal Harbor Freight cheap tool entirely. Like it actually, I think there's a reason why it's $90 and they don't let certain coupons actually take the price off because it's pretty decent quality. Con, it is expensive. $90 to suck oil through a tube? Come on. I ended up buying it because of mainly the motorhome uh, and I have used it several times since. Con, the tubes that it comes with, they could be longer. Like, give me some 10-foot tubes. You know what I mean? Give me some 10-foot tubes. But that was a $5 solution from Lowe's. I just bought some quarter-inch tubing, and that was it. Pro, it's got this vent release button. So if you've built up a bunch of vacuum, but you're done and you just want to quit it, press that, and it releases all the vacuum. It's easy to drain. That's a pro. Yeah. If you're interested in buying one of these things, I'll link it in the description below. And also they have a pneumatic one, so it's not a manual pump. It'll hook up to your air compressor and like pump. Uh, it's not the same, like it doesn't look the same, I mean, but uh, yeah, if you don't wanna manually pump, you could take a look at that. It's green, that's all I remember. I'll link it as well. Maybe show a picture on the screen. Well, that's it for this review. If you like this video, there's a button for that, it's a like button. If you wanna see more videos like it, there's a button for that, subscribe. And if you're just bored, cruise the channel. Might be less bored. I hope that helped. See you later, internet.